Chapter 15.6 Depreciation Depreciation is the reduction in the value of an item as it ages over a period of time. For example, a car that is purchased new for 45000 will be worth less than that amount one year later and less again each year, so it's going down, depreciating. To calculate the depreciated value of an item, use the following formula. So we've got very similar to your compounding. Okay, we've got A equals P times 1, take away R to the power of N. The only difference with compounding is here we have a takeaway rather than a plus. So it means it's going down, compounding goes up. So again, A is depreciated value, P is the value of an item, R is the percentage, and N is the number of terms. Okay, so work example 10, I've changed a little bit, but that's okay. Lloyd purchased a tractor for $115,000. The value of the tractor depreciates by 12%. Uh, the question asks, find the value of the tractor after five years. So we're going to use the formula that was in the previous slide. A equals P times 1 minus your R to the power of N. So we're going to pick out the things we need. So P equals 115,000. We've got our R, now it says 12%, so we make that into decimal, and we're going to have N, which is 5 years. Substitute each one into the formula, so we've got A equals 115,000, and we're going to multiply that by, now it says 1 minus 0.12, and we're going to put it to the power of 5. We're going to expand those brackets. So 115,000 and one takeaway, 1.2, or 0.12, sorry, is 0.88 to the power of 5, and that's going to be multiplied. When you put that into the calculator, we end up with 60,689.17. So after five years, it'll cost this. Another work example. Lloyd purchases a turbocharged Ford Mustang for $50,000. The value of the car depreciates by 13%. Find the value of the Mustang after six years. So first of all, we've got our formula. A equals P times 1 minus R to the power of N. Find out what we need. So P equals 50,000. R is going to equal 13, so percent, which is equal to 0.13 and our n is 6. Substitute those numbers in. So we have a equals 50,000. We're going to have 1 minus that 0.13 and that's to the power of 6. So that's going to be 50,000 multiplied by 0.87 to the power of 6. When you put that into the calculator, you have 21,681.31. This is how much that Mustang will cost after six years. Okay, in work example 10, we're actually looking for our A at the amount. This time we're going to be looking for the time, so our N. So question asks, Lloyd buys a new boat for 500,000. The boat depreciates at a rate of 15% per annum and is written off at um, when its value falls below 100,000. This is our A. How long will it take before the boat is written off? So we're going to use the same formula. So we'll pull out the information we need. So P equals 500,000. We've got our R equals 15%, so 0.15. Our N, well, well that's a question mark. But now we have an A, which is 100,000. One more zero. All right. So basically, it becomes a bit of trial and error. We're just going to have to try to substitute different numbers in until we've reached the 100,000. So first of all, we'll try it with a 5. That's a, quite a good number to start with. So substitute it in. So 100,000 equals 500,000 multiplied by... Now, one takeaway, 0.15, is 0.85. And we're going to just put that with a number 5 there. We may as well try 5. Put that in the calculator and you get 
852.66. Now, as you can see, this is not below 100,000. So five does not work. Next, we might try 10, nice round number. So we'll rewrite it, 100,000 equals 500,000 times by 0.85, and we'll put a 10 there. Put that into the calculator, and you're gonna get 98,437.20. All right, so now we can see this is below 100,000. So it could be that one. But just to make sure, we're gonna change this to a nine. Okay, so 100,000 equals 500,000 times by 0.85 to the power of nine. When you put that in, you're gonna have 115,808.47. Now clearly this is still over 100, so therefore, four to the power of 10 is our answer. So therefore, um, it will take 10 years to be written off. Thank you. So another work example where we're looking for N and how long it's gonna take. Lloyd buys a new combine harvester for 450,000. The combine harvester depreciates at a rate of 12% and is written off when its value falls below 90%. How long will it take before the combine harvester is to be written off? All right, so take out what we need. P equals 450,000. R equals 12%, so 0.12. Our A equals 90,000. And our N, we are looking for. So again with N, we're gonna trial and error it. Okay, so put these into our formula. We've got 90,000 equals 450,000 times one minus 0.12 equals 0.88. And that's gonna to be to the power of five. Oh, we'll go 10. All right, so put that into your calculator and you get 221 Oh, 221,852.66. So, well and truly above 90,000. So it does not work. All right, so let's try 15. We'll go up by fives. So 90,000 equals 450,000 times that by that 0.88. And we're gonna times that well, to the power of 15. When we put that in, we get 66,138.23. Now, this is below 90,000, so it might be it, but big gap between the two. So we might go somewhere in the middle. How about try 13? So we've got 90,000 equals 450,000. I'm gonna multiply that by 0.88 to the power of 13. Put that into the calculator and you get 85,405, uh, 405.78. Now, I know for a fact this is correct. So 13 is our, uh, is our N. It'll take 13 years before it gets below 90,000. And that's how you do it.